What's up, friends of the Red Bull? This is Money, and welcome to the new Ardent Blitz and its legendary pilot, Clive Vicious. And uh, Vicious it is. This guy gets 90% resistance instead of the Blitz Shield when he activates the ability. In addition to Death Survivor and Foolhardy, where you get the active module back and the ability of the robot at 50%. That means this here is officially the Leech Robot 2.0. It's the better leech. I'm not joking because the leech robot is already insane with its 90% resistance, but the uh, the blitz robot gets the ability twice. Okay, the leech still has more firepower overall, but the leech has uh, the the blitz has much more hit points. Okay, and it gets faster also with the ability, and you have the ability twice over, and that is the difference. Okay, uh, you can run in and activate the 90% damage resistance and speed boost and suppress the enemy. Ima imagine what that means. You only take 10% of the damage and the enemy can only deal like 10% of damage because he's suppressed. The result is zero damage. There is like nothing happening. And um, yeah, so let's just kill this guy real quick. I'm di I didn't even use the ability here. And um, just show you a good time. This is like almost a 20 minute long video and I want to make sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Here, Blitz versus Blitz. Boop. And who wins? The one who has the, um, you know, the newer version uh, with um, resistance instead of shield. Because that shield can be taken down. If you have multiple people firing at you, that Blitz robot shield gets killed super quick. And then you have no more protection. Um, especially when more people are firing at you. That resistance of 90%, however, no matter how many people are shooting you, you just don't take real damage, right? It's just like nothing. And and the most interesting thing is most people still don't know about the 90% resistance and, and they wonder why in the world that Blitz just doesn't take damage. <laughs> What's going on, right? There's so many people shooting it, there's no damage coming in. So, I think I'm getting at 50% now another ability charge. Take a look at that and... Oh wait, I must have already had that somewhere. Ah, must have already been past the 50% previously. Uh, otherwise, we would have gotten another ability here. Um, yeah, I recorded this yesterday. That's my why, why my hands are free. Um, I've recorded this yesterday, this gameplay, and now doing commentary over it. Uh, because I want to... I want to show this. Uh, I've also, a lot of people have been asking for the new legendary Blitz, Blitz pilot. And here it is. Alright, boom. Suppression is still the same. It still does a really good amount of damage when you shoot these suppression charges. Uh, it's like... Um, yeah, it's pretty much like firing uh, two, two shots of uh, gusts at the enemy. And you have three of those coming out, right? Also, um, I decided to run gust again. Because uh, A, uh, there were some requests, and B, it's the old version, how we ran uh, the Blitz and Phantoms and whatnot all in the days. And um, I think it still does extremely well. I must say I'm surprised. I thought Gust is like worthless now, but it still does seem to do a lot of damage to the enemy here. Um, however, it does run out of ammo really fast. Here, I, I countered his uh, Vortex shot by simply... Uh, you know, <laughs> by simply walking in a certain way where they don't hit. Suppressing the Titan so that the Titan cannot do damage to my target. So I get the kill for free. And then, you know, walking away from the Titan here. Uh, if you like the content, ladies and gentlemen, then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And stay tuned for more. Uh, another video that I have in the making currently is... Uh, a Titan Slayer video with the behemoth and four times glory. That's going to be glorious. I can tell you that much. So let's go for this Titan first. I tried to suppress them all, but uh, didn't really work. Let's get around this wall here. I'm hoping that they're going to fight each other because it will take me a little while with these gusts to take down this Titan. I'm regenerating ammo as much as possible. And now that his resistance is down, I can deal some... Some good damage to him, <laughs> but only for a second until, of course, the um, uh, yeah, reload kicks in and I'm out of ammo. But I'm suppressing the guy again. One or two more shots. One. Come on. And there we go. Wow. 
This is where I wonder if maybe fan if Magnums would be better to have because they fire forever with never with that never having a reload. But at the same time, uh, yo, the 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 Magnums. Uh, they just never have this initial alpha damage. And we're also playing a couple of more matches here where I'm showing you how you can easily kill Steel with the Blitz um, Gust. These Gusts may be old, these Gusts may be nerfed, but they still offer a tremendous amount of firepower for like 3 seconds. And if in these 3 seconds, you get pretty much every kill. Uh, if you if you wait for it and you have the uh, the skill for... 30% more increased shooting and you wait for the right moment you start to fire you get pretty much every kill it's like pop, 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 and it's yours the, the alpha strike is so high all right suppressing this titan here getting rid of this uh, Arthur shield walking away oh man this thing just takes forever to kill because of the low you know reloading of the gust this is where the difference is right the old gust it kept a good DPS all the time. Yeah, sure, it also had to reload, but it never took as long to reload a shot. Now this new Gust, the new version basically, the uh, nerfed version, um, has massive firepower for a second, but then has uh, the reload. Alright, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, we got this Titan. And now this dude. Dum, bum, bum, bum. Three shots and he's almost done. And now we're getting... Here at 50%, getting the ability back. Full 8 seconds of 90% resistance and the charges for increased damage and suppression. And more speed too. Yep, he came out here. I tried to dodge his uh, his rockets pretty well. Now that he's empty, he's have, he had not really done much damage there. And from this point on, he decided not to engage anymore, despite being second. Um, yeah, so I guess this was this first match. Let's see how much damage we've done. Uh, 3 million with 16 kills. Easily scored first here in free fall. So let's do a beacon rush match before we go back into a free fall match and where I'm going to show you how you can still kill, st kill steal, all right? Uh, at first, we're trying to attack this beacon here. We already had one guy destroyed. Now there's two more, right? And if you think it stays with two, no. Sorry, I've got to disappoint you here. It's actually three now. The Aochun, the Leech, and the Phantom, the three, th th three strongest meta bots in the game. And uh, we are, however, running the other strongest meta bot, the Ravana, that can't just waste people's time forever. And although I made a mistake here losing my last stand, and on top, um, you know, uh, having my, my mode running, I, I did get the beacon after, after all, I got three of them destroyed and the fourth one is going down now. See here, five seconds, still a full 90% resistance and this guy is like, what is going on? What is wrong with this blitz robot? That's not supposed to happen, but yes, it, it is now. The resistance of 90% is real. And uh, in my opinion, this really makes the Blitz Robot be very interesting again, right? The Blitz Robot didn't really stand much of a chance against the Leeches with their 90% resistance and damage throwback. Um, it didn't really stand much of a chance against flying out Chuns. Now with resistance, the shield, it just wasn't as good. The resistance is just way better. Of course, you still have to be careful about Titans, but you'll always have to. And... Um, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, excuse me, I'm having hiccups. So, this really is, um, in my opinion, the better leech. But I'd like to hear what, what you guys think and say. If you think this is a, is really a, a, a new updated version of the uh, robot that it gets uh, better than the blitz, uh, than the leech robot, I think so. And the most important thing, there is no damage throwback that that, you know, uh, annoys the heck out of me on the leech robot when people are starting to shoot um, the, the guy who's leeching me. Um, yeah, this guy just spawned here with a fresh uh, Bulgazari. That's right, that's the name. Almost forgot, never had to say it in a couple of months. You just don't see them anymore. Um, there was a time, however, and that may, might be interesting to some of you guys, there was a time when the... Um, when the Bulgazari got had a physical shield that was indestructible. 
His physical shield was always powerful, but there was a time when Pixonic apparently by accident patched in um, a um, uh, an invincibility uh, for for the shield. It just it just couldn't get destroyed. All right, so switching over. No, just checking, just checking if uh, if we could spawn somewhere useful. <laughs> and uh, a lot of people still have a blitz robot in their hangar, and they're like, hmm, all right, I guess I'm gonna use my Ravana now, or my Leech, or our Chuns and whatnot. And most, I, very few meta hangers that I've seen over the couple of months still had a, leech, a, a blitz robot inside. Let's say 90% of those people would, if they had the choice, would be running the uh, um, Phantom, um, you know, Leech, Auchun, Ravana, and stuff like this. Um, it, despite probably even having a Blitz robot in their hangars, you know? And now there is a reason to bring out the Blitz again if you if you happen to be lucky getting the, the legendary Blitz pilot uh, in, um, in these uh, chests, in these event chests, I think this is where you got them. Uh, and then if you have this, you can really pu pull out that Blitz robot again because it's going to rock. It's going to rock really well. And in this video I think I can, or in this match I rather, but look, look, enemy 4 just exited the battle because he didn't start with enough kills. He's like, okay, this match is already over for me because I didn't get two kills in my first stealth flight with my boring Aochun. Yeah, sorry. Um, here we go, let's walk in and see the speed boost, the suppression, and the damage that we do, even with these uh, gusts. And boom, boom, boom. There goes the Aochun. May not have been the highest, highest level Aochun, of course. And he didn't use la last stand. Um, but it, it was still an Aochun that was trying to hide. He used his flight ability and again. Here he comes again with an Aochun flying in. Um, basically wasting his flight, kind of, you know. Uh, you could say he's trying. To, he thought he could engage me better. Um, but it was clear that I was gonna find some cover. Unfortunately, this time, uh, two more Auchons, uh, Auchons everywhere you look. Uh, in front of me, behind me, Auchons everywhere. And in this case, I've got, I've got to say, okay, that's it for now. But I can almost destroy this Auchon still, which is good. Let's just sprint in, maybe we have a chance to score that kill. They are fighting, this other guy just released his last stand. And uh, I'll just gladly take the kill afterwards. You know, it was me who prepared it anyway, so... <laughs> those gusts. Those old, outdated gusts. And yet they can still kill... And kill steel very well. Um, I, I must say, I think, uh, you know, nerfing shotguns overall was the right choice. I always wonder if maybe they have gone a little bit too far on how long it takes to reload shots, right? Um, but seeing what Gust is able to do these days still, maybe it's still okay, right? Again, um, what do you guys think? Do you think Gust is like worthless now? Um, I think you can still do a lot with it and yeah, sure, it's no more what it used to be, but the way it was you know, it was just better than anything. And there was never a reason to run anything other than Gust or Halo, right? And um, I like to see variety and different things being used on the battlefield, so that is now the case again. You actually see Shredder being used. You actually see, actually see a couple of uh, Magnums. I saw recently a Magnum Blitz coming at me. That was cool. Been like a long time that I, I saw Magnums being used in the Champions League. Um, because with nerfing ha shotguns like uh, Gust and Halo, other weapons have risen in their popularity again, including even Magnums. Yeah, but now here, see, we've done tons of damage for a second, and that was like, okay, <laughs> nothing coming out of this red weapon anymore. But it's still enough. Alright, so the leech robot right there. No, uh, sorry, the Ares has been shooting me. Oh yeah, you also see a lot of Ares again now with uh, the 6.0 update, of course, right? Ares have become more interesting now. 
All right, so, and here's the kill stealing that I want to show you here. I'm reloading my weapons all the way. I just shot a f couple of shots. And here, let's wait for it and bum, 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 bum. My kill. There's no way to score this kill against this much alpha damage. And here, let's do this again. And bum, 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 bum. My kill. <laughs> it's so easy with those gusts to kill steal. Uh-oh. All right, let's get him lo suppressed. Activate our 90% resistance and not even a Titan can do damage anymore because they are suppressed by like 90% because I do run the pilot skill um, Here in this case. I was unlucky. I didn't get the kill despite sh running the shotguns um, In I do have the pilot skill here for the increased suppression effect too. You can have a pilot skill I'm not sure what it's called um, Where you you basically increase the or oh, wait a minute. Is it a no, 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 it's a subpilot skill, yeah. And you get, you increase the suppression effect by 12.5% or so. Or 15%? Something like this. Uh, and that, I think you reach around 90% suppression um, uh, effect with the blitz then. That means there's really not coming any damage out of the enemy anymore. And then having 90% resistance on your own, it's like the enemy still does like 1% to you. <laughs> That's all. 1%. So... We're starting with our flight ability here, uh, no, with our resistance. After the resistance, we replace that with a uh, phase shift coming out of that. And then we get the Aochun afterwards. Boom. See, even flying Aochuns are not really a threat anymore with the Blitz. Um, when you have the ability ready, that is, right? Because although they might be able to fly around you and they used to take down your shield and then your blitz, now they're basically just, you know, working down your resistance or trying to work down the resistance and they're noticing that it's wasted love to shoot you. So, I think I still have one more match for you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, can't wait to see the comments, of course. And I like to say this here, um, again, I've said it a couple of times, but... Uh, we have, I, I'm reading most of the comments, I may not catch them all, but I'm reading um, reading most of the comments and I'm not able to respond to all of them, but I, I really love r scrolling through. I spend like two hours a day just scrolling through comments, reading and just, you know, seeing, seeing the mood in the community and uh, what people are thinking uh, and yeah, commenting on what, uh, when I have some time. Let's try and get that Mercury here. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, again, have been unlucky, but look at how quickly this guy goes down. We even fired two or three shots into the Mercury before, and uh, we didn't get the kill. And then see what we did with the Aochun right after. Here, again, a battle between the two Blitz robots. One with the uh, Shredder, and one with the other. In this case, of course, it's not perfectly fair, because we did have the... the um, we had the anti-control module. Uh, which means he couldn't suppress me, right? Uh, and I could suppress him. Uh, but it, it also showed that the Blitz shield just gets killed so quickly, right? Without the uh, without anti-control, we would have also been suppressed. That means we would have had to wait for his shield to dry out um, or for our suppression to wear off before uh, we take down the rest of the shield and the robot. But we would have still won easily normally there. Uh, it's not really the, the robot, uh, the blitz robot with the shield is inferior in any way. Here, scoring kills. And do you notice how, how accurate the shots are? Look at this. The shots are like so accurate with this. I thought they nerfed, and they I thought they increased the spread on the shotguns too. Um, I'm running the, the skill for the, um, for the shotgun, but look how much damage we do even at that range. 350 meters range. I'm firing now once. See that? And then bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. That was like 25% of the uh, of the leech that we just killed. At 300 meters or 250. I've got to say the um, music is a bit loud. Um, I've got to say the uh, the resistance, uh, no, the, 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 the shooting is really accurate on the uh, on the, uh, the gusts now. Which I thought they uh, they totally nerfed. Oh, enemy one it exits the exits the the match now. All right, enemy five is trying to hide. I'm following him in, but uh, unfortunately, despite activating the ability, I couldn't catch him. But I was still able to drop him to 30% before, um, you know, before he activated that shield. Tried to steal his kill, didn't work. But then him. 
Why would I need magnums if the if the if the, the gust is so much more accurate? Is so accurate and does so well at at the same max range. The only answer would be here. Blitz versus Leech, okay? He's 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 having face shift, I think. He also has last stand. And I'm running the resistance now. Wasting his time, wasting his ammo. Why is he firing? I don't know. Boom. I'm not sure if he's using face shift, but um we're now uh, shifting through his... Uh, um, okay, he didn't use face shift there. Uh, but we were in full, right? I didn't have the double ability. I only had it once. Uh, so, in, uh, in if this was a full battle between both robots in 100% HP, um, I would have had the ability of a 90% resistance twice, unlike he had, right? Bup, 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 bup. I'm just rather shooting the Titan because it seems to take a long time for the Titan to get the Nemesis. I tried to steal that, but unfortunately the Aochun got it. Now it's... Okay, who's... Everybody's fighting the kit now. I'm, uh, I'm staying behind him and just waiting for the resistance to drop. I did, did a lot of damage to him and now he's shaking his head for some reason. We haven't been playing together through this match, have we? I don't know. I don't remember playing with enemy any anyone in this match, so I don't know why he's shaking his head. Let's bring him down to last stand. That was my thought, but unfortunately he got um, the ability ready before. Why he landed so quick? I don't know. Why did you? Why did you not keep flying, enemy four? Are you? Uh, he ended his flight ability too early. Okay, one more shot. Okay. <laughs> I was already starting to lose weapons. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The Blitz, the Ardent Blitz with a legendary pilot. Tell me what you think about it. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with you guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.